What do Harry Potter, Marie Antoinette, and the phrase down east have in common? An American original, the Maine Coon cat. The Maine Coon is the only cat that was actually developed here in, uh, where else, Maine. You see, Marie Antoinette was set to flee France with her bevy of long hair angoras, but the ship sailed down east to Maine without her. The guillotine was her next stop. One legend claims Marie's cats made it to Maine, giving rise to the modern day Maine Coon. They're enormous. They tend to be one of the bigger cats, quite dramatically large. And of all the things large and long about this cat, it's a Maine Coon that has the longest whiskers ever recorded, an amazing six and a half inches. Want to be sure you've got a Maine Coon? Check the forehead. Many of them sport an M for Maine Coon, leading us to another recognizable forehead. Harry Potter and his Hogwarts friends were under constant watch by Mrs. Norris, a Maine Coon ready to catch any student misbehaving. The Maine Coon evolved in close proximity to humans in rural coastline and farming communities. Originally bred for their mousing talents, their loving nature and kind disposition made them America's breed. They are now one of the most popular breeds, second only to Persians. This is a big cat in every way. Let's start with the measurements. They can weigh up to 25 pounds, although average weight is a hefty 17 for adult males. Expect your Maine Coon to get to 40 inches in length. The lengthiest on record, however, is 48 inches. The Maine Coon is like the Great Dane. It's the gentle giant. They have oversized paws to help navigate the snow. Big, furry, flat feet, sometimes referred to as snowshoes, often with extra digits. And finishing off with a very long, thick tail, giving them good balance, agility, and a warm wrap for catnaps in cold weather. Adult coon cats have a three-layer coat, two undercoats, and a guard coat, with coloring from white to black with various tabby patterns. This is a cat that Mother Nature built. Survival of the fittest? Look no further than the top of Mount Washington, New Hampshire, the Northeast's highest peak, where Brian Clark, weather observer and meteorologist, broadcasts his daily blog with his Maine Coon cat, Marty. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's Obscast. Well, I got my friend Marty here to help me talk to you this week about some of the weather we've been seeing. Mount Washington is known as the, uh, the home of the world's worst weather. It's a very foreboding place. It's here, a popular New England destination in warm weather, that the highest winds in the world were ever recorded. It often feels like being on the surface of the moon. For almost 75 years, the Mount Washington Observatory has had a tradition. Cats live with the staff on top of the mountain. They bring a little warmth and comfort to what is otherwise an isolated environment. In the winter time, from the months of October through May, we're it up here on the summit. We're the only people. It does feel a little lonely sometimes. And Marty, being a Maine Coon, is right at home in this harsh New England landscape. He helps Brian with the various tasks on the mountain. He likes to follow us around. He likes to be involved in everything. He likes to be outside. Except for when the wind is blowing at a mighty 80 miles per hour, as it is today. Too windy for him. The science that we do here is, is important, and obviously we take that very seriously, but people can relate to cats. They like cats, so they find it intriguing that there's a, a cat on top of a mountain. The Maine Coon is a long-haired cat, so grooming the coat is definitely a team effort. Cats spend about a third of their day grooming themselves. I think it's only fair to give them a hand, give them a little brushing. Although no major health concerns have surfaced, it's always wise to go to a reputable breeder or do your research if adopting from a shelter. This is a terrific family cat. I think it would be a very good first-time cat because they are so loving and sweet. Those looking for loyal and lovable need to look no further. So to recap, the Maine Coon is strong and healthy. 
It's a big cat with lots to groom and wants to be a loyal member of your family. They're large, they're impressive, and they're super nice. When Cats 101 returns, look at the size of this guy. We'll meet California's chunkiest kitty. This beauty inspires a line of snowboards. Is this the world's fastest cat breed? Are these the smartest cats? And is this bird nuts?